Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do another type of dialysis tutorial that typically is something you do not as often as you do with your machine. This is manual dialysis, which is also known as CAPD. Also, I have a really huge announcement to make. Some of you guys may already know this, but it is why I've been MIA the past month. And I'll be bringing that to you in my very next video. But without further delay, let's get into the video. And make sure you don't forget to click. This is my room closet where I keep my daily dialysis equipment and my manual dialysis pole. Here, I'm just raising my dialysis pole to my desired height. Remember, when it comes to manual dialysis, it works on gravity alone. It does not need to be hooked up to a power source. And as you can see, I raise it to the height of about my closet door. But I have, this is an actual light. It's a stand, like the dialysis stands. Um, and I hung my bag up there. It hooks up to me. And then down there, you can see the drain bag. It's all connected. And it typically works using gravity. So this is my dialysis equipment closet in the new house. The boxes are labeled four 3,000 milliliter boxes two 6,000 milliliter boxes, and for the manual, it'll be six 2,000 milliliter boxes. Manuals are always 2,000 milliliters. Today, I'll be using a green manual dialysis bag. The difference is this long tube that's in your manual dialysis bags. Once you remove the bag from its packaging, you will have to go in and actually pull apart the drain bag so the tube is unraveled. And once that's done, you just hang it on the top of your dialysis pole. The hooks are there for that purpose. Once everything is unraveled and your bag is hanging from the hook, this is what everything should look like. Now it's time to go in and collect the rest of my supplies. I'm going to grab a mini cap, one gauze for cleaning, of course, and then also a mask, gloves to make sure I stay sterile. And the only thing that's not shown here, but you'll see later, is the pad to prevent spilling anything on myself. I've already washed my hands, but you guys know I love to stay extra clean and extra sterile, so I'm going to sanitize as well. Here's the pad that I mentioned previously. This is something that I also use in my regular dialysis routine, as you've seen in my previous Omnia dialysis tutorial video. Now I'm putting on my gloves. And of course, I have to sanitize again. So now I'm grabbing my gauze packaging so I can actually add my Alkavis 50. This is the dialysis connector sterilizer. And this is something that is extremely strong and it will bleach your clothing. So that's the purpose of the pad. I saturate the gauze in the Alkavis 50 and then I put on my mask. And sanitize again. I mean, why not? So before I even open my dialysis port, I like to sanitize the outside of it. That way, when I do finally open it, no germs are able to get inside. I also like to grab the manual dialysis bag connection tube before I actually open it so it is a quicker connection. Anything to help prevent any infection. Make sure it's a tight, secure connection. It doesn't have to be extremely tight, just something very similar to how you connect to your Amiya machine. I like to use the gauze with the Alkavis to remove any extra iodine because that, once it gets on your clothes, is very difficult to remove as well. 
in order for you to actually receive the dialysis, you do have to break seals on these dialysis bags. That crack means that it is actually broken. And now once you open your port, you'll actually be able to drain and receive fluid. And as you can see, it's draining and with the use of gravity, it is immediately draining into the bag, collecting the fluid from inside of my abdomen. Depending on how much fluid you have in your abdomen determines how long this will take. For me, this process takes about 15 minutes to drain until empty and my body indicates that by cramping. The green seal is what allows the dialysis fluid in the bag to drain either into your stomach or into the drain bag below. Absolutely do not crack this seal until you are ready to fill. I'm still in the draining stage, but the flow has significantly decreased in pace. So that means I'm getting closer and closer to being empty. My abdomen starts to cramp, which indicates that I am getting pretty close to empty. And I tolerate it as long as possible, but I don't allow myself to get in too much pain. So I stop. As soon as the port closes, draining stops and the pain stops immediately. Now it's time to start the fill phase, which you do by breaking the green seal. I highly suggest that as you are cracking the green seal, that you keep your catheter port closed. That way, any air bubbles in the tube drains to the drain bag before it enters you, which will cause extreme gas pain that is very difficult to get rid of. I know these look like scissors, but this is actually a dialysis clamp that my clinic provided. This will prevent the dialysis fluid from bypassing my abdomen and not filling me and draining directly into the drain bag. Once you're finished, to immediately stop flow, you lock your dialysis port. Y'all, my camera cut off on me at this point, so it's not shown here, but immediately after I close my port, I take the dialysis bag off the hook and I put it on the ground. Just a reminder, this form of dialysis uses gravity. So once you disconnect that dialysis port, that dialysis fluid, if there is still some in that bag, can literally flow all out onto the ground. Immediately upon disconnection, add your flexi cap with that iodine and you're done. Now I would suggest that you immediately drain whatever fluid is in those bags because if somehow that tube gets below or on the same level as those bags, that fluid is all over the floor, all over your carpet. Believe me, I've done it before. So this is major key. So guys, I hope that was informative. I'm so sorry about my camera freezing, but after all the really great feedback that I got from my Amia Machine daily dialysis tutorial video, I wanted to make sure that I also did this one. This one is extremely important. And some people, depending on your circumstance, choose this form of dialysis over using the machine. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave those comments in the comment section below. And I thank you guys so much for always being patient with me and tuning in. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Stay tuned, it'll be a good one.